Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's show. Welcome to Equality and Rights for All. I'm your host, Anthony Lerito Duke. And we have two topics for today's show. The first one is nearly 700,000 people will lose their SNAP benefits on April 1st, 2020. And the second topic is Greta Thunberg is Time Magazine's 2019 Person of the Year. Now let's get right into the first one. Nearly 700,000 people will lose their SNAP benefits on April 1st, 2020. This is not an April Fool's joke, ladies and gentlemen. This is fact. And for those, first of all, for those of you who don't know what SNAP stands for, it's the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, it, um, also known as food stamps. And, you know, there's two sides to this coin. The first side is Trump and a lot of the GOPs for years, they want to get rid of uh, government benefits for everybody. They want to deal, they want to do away with Social Security and food stamps and so on and so forth. And there's this proof of that. And that's, again, it's going to start April 1st of 2020. There's going to be nearly 700,000 people that will lose their SNAP benefits. And let me explain how the Trump administration, uh, well, let me explain why the Trump administration is planning to do this or how they're going to go about it. It's um, what they're saying is for able bodied people that can go out and work and who do not have kids, and of course, you know, they're not on disability uh, either, um, they will lose, they are the ones that will lose their benefit, uh, SNAP benefits on April 1st of 2020. And so, um, you know, that, that's, that's the way of trying to get people to back, you know, to go back to work and stuff. But, uh, you know, 700,000 people will lose their SNAP benefits as of April 1st of 2020. Now, on the other side of that coin is the fact that, you know, there are a lot of people out there that have abused the system and, you know, really ruined it for a lot of people, you know, and um, oh, if, if, if you're not disabled, Again, if you're not disabled and if you do not have kids, you will lose uh, your SNAP benefits. So, and, you know, again, also on the other side of the coin is that uh, for many years, like I said, a lot of people have been abusing the system. And that's not right. It's not right at all. So this was bound to happen, you know, but um, so that's that. Now let's get right into the second topic of today's show. Greta Thunberg is Time Magazine's 2019 Person of the Year. For those of you who do not know who Greta Thunberg is, Thunberg is, she is a 16-year-old girl. I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say girl. This is a 16-year-old young lady from Sweden who is a climate activist. And 
she really scolded the people at the uh, um about uh you know with climate change and how important it is and um she did that at the United, I believe it was at the United Nations. And she she scolded, you know, a lot of the non-believers and for people who want to turn away, you know, uh, want to turn away on the fact of, of the importance of climate change. And you know, this young lady, she, uh, to me, she is a wonderful advocate. A wonderful advocate. And um, she is on the cover of Time Magazine, and she is now Time Magazine's 2019 Person of the Year. And this young lady beat Trump at uh, this. and. Now he's all attacking her, you know, on Twitter, telling her to cool out and whatever, chill out, I mean. He, that's what he's telling her, chill out. And, um, but she earned this. So I say, so Greta, if you're listening, congratulations, bro. You earned it. So you are a smart young lady, and you just keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. And the reason why Trump is, I mean, Trump is really mad that he lost at being Time Magazine's Person of the Year for 2019. He is really mad at that. He does not like losing to anybody. And he's really mad that he lost to a female, and he's also really mad at the fact that he lost to a kid. So this was a huge blow to Trump's ego. And I say, good for him. Good. Because climate change is a reality. It is not a hoax, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a really, really important topic. So, like I said, she's a great advocate advocate for this. And we really don't have much time left of this show, and I wanted to remind everybody about my business, my website, which is Advocate Information Highway. And the link to there is a w l d n y dot com. That's a like Apple, w like Wind, l like Larry, d like David, n y like for the state of New York dot com. And you can check out all seven pages on there. That's right. Yes, I said all seven pages on there. Uh, they used to be only five pages. I've been working diligently hard on this. And now there are seven pages on there. On the home page of the website, you will see the links to where the links to where you can follow me on social media. You'll also see the links to where you can check out uh, the three pages on Facebook. That's I'm sorry, the three business pages on Facebook. The first one is Advocate Information Highway. The second one is Advocate Information Highway Express. And the third one is odds and ends. So you can check out those three business pages on Facebook. And under that, you'll see um, the five uh, places that I've been a long and proud member of. And you can check them out. Under that, you'll see the subscribe area. If you want to subscribe to my website, you can. And then under that is the contact us to where if you want to drop us a line, uh, if you want to say hi, or if you 
find any problems with the website, you can uh, uh, just write out to contact us and let us know. The second page of the website is the supports page. And on there, you'll see the list of all the uh, businesses and companies or organizations uh, that uh, Advocate Information Highway supports. The third page of the website is the administration page, and that's self-explanatory. The fourth page is the store page, in which the first section, you'll see the link to where you can check out uh, my internet store in Zazzle.com, in which I designed a lot of products and they're up for sale on there. The second section is where there's a first link to where uh, you can check out my author's page on Amazon.com and you can purchase both books that I wrote on there. And the other two links that's in the second section is if you want to take a sneak peek into each book that I wrote. The first link is to the first book that I wrote, which is called Let's Talk About It. And the second link is to the second book that I wrote called Let's Talk About It More. And you can get a sneak peek into each book that I wrote. And the third section is the link to where you can check out the website that my husband and I have together called oddsandends.com, in which you can purchase a lot of our products on there. And the fifth page of the website is the blog page, in which you guys can check out all the blog posts that I placed on there. The sixth page is the, sh is the shows page, in which you can check out both of my shows that I host here on Spreaker.com. You can check out all, all, all the episodes, each show that I host here on Spreaker.com. The first one is this show, Equality and Rights for All, which is scheduled for Thursdays. And again, I'm working on a time frame for that. And the second show is uh, that I host here on Spreaker.com is called Disabled Reality. And you guys can check out all the episodes for that show as well. And the seventh and final page of the website is the newspapers page in which you guys can check out uh, all 10 of my internet newspapers. And you can uh, uh, check out all the articles on each newspaper. And how much time is left, which we really don't have much time. And I want to thank everybody, all my fans out there. Thank you guys so much for listening in. I hope to speak to everybody again next Thursday, which is December 19th with this show, Equality and Rights for All. And also tomorrow, which is December 13th for Disabled Reality. And, and so with that, Take care, everybody. Bye.